Welcome back on the storm watch. People all across several states in the southeast are cleaning up today. A wave of deadly storms moved through over the weekend, bringing tornadoes and flooding, leaving at least, least 15 people dead. CBS 4 anchor Lauren Pastrana shows us some of the hardest hit areas. Tornadoes like this one left the Texas town of Canton in ruins. Don't like coming back here, realizing we almost died. A woman was found dead at this Dodge dealership after cars there were turned into twisted wrecks. Police believe the woman was driving and blown off the road. Crews worked through the night to clear debris and restore power. Forecasters are calling for sun today in Canton, but there's a chance for more severe weather later this week. More drone footage reveals the extent of the flooding in Missouri. I just wish it was here. That's all. In Mississippi, a tearful woman mourns her fiance. Wind knocked a tree onto their home. In Arkansas, falling trees left several homes in ruins and blocked streets. It's by the grace of God that we're still standing here right now. And my two daughters are in the house because that whole tree is across there. The heavy rain caused the Chicago River to rise to dangerous levels. And in Oklahoma, officials released water from the Uchi Dam after more than eight inches of rain fell on Saturday, forcing residents to evacuate their homes as the storms moved east. Where you see the enhanced threat here, Colored in orange, Pennsylvania, upstate New York, damaging wind, heavy rain, hail, and even isolated tornadoes will be likely. High schoolers in Posey County, Indiana, took the weekend weather in stride. It was a bummer, but having it today worked out fine, and it seems like everybody's having a good time. They dressed up for a second straight day after flooding postponed Saturday's prom. Lauren Pastrana, CBS4 News.